Oh, fuck, it's recording. It's recording right now? Shit. Has it been recording? Nah. Mm. You like that stuff? <sighs> that stuff's good, huh? 100% mango juice. It's a good stuff, man, I'm telling you. My homeboy Barefoot Boris just mm. put me up on this. I'm about to taste it for the first time. I tasted it a little bit already. It was cool. I'm going to let it sink in this time. Carabao mangoes, right? How do you say that? This is good. Hey, man, we have my homeboy Bor Barefoot Boris spot. You see, man, listen. This little place has more creativity. This is like the center of the universe right here. <laughs> I can literally feel like it, we're in the center of the universe because, man... Creative energy is here. And it's um, it's really a blessing to be here, man. Did you light the candles? Can we set the scene? Let's light the candles. Let's light the candles, man. We invite you into our world right now. And listen, this is the first and second step of Dream University. I even had the candle lighter specifically. Tell us about the candles, Boris. Oh, dude, with these candles, you can evoke so many energies, bro. You can manifest with them, bro. You can see your future in them, dude. It's a lot of good stuff, bro. A lot of good stuff. I like this little, stuff. I like this little wilted boy right here. Look at that boy. Hey, listen, man. I'm just gonna let you in the barefoot Boris world right now. This is the most peaceful killer I've, I've ever met. <laughs> this is not a toy. <laughs> Who the fuck has one of these in their house? Look at this. Oh my god. Let me. Ah. Open that bitch. Ah. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Damn. What happened? Why don't you open this motherfucker before I tear it up? Yeah. Oh. I wasn't even opening. I wasn't even opening it right. Look at this. Do you realize what this is? What is this? It says 19 U.S. 1913 with the bare, the knuckles, and the blade. Mmm, mmm, woo! Let me put this up. Can you can you just put that up for me? This is scary boy right here. That thing is dangerous, and it's just right there. But guess what? This is not an intimidating man, <laughs> but I would not advise for you to fuck with him. <laughs> Let me put it back like it, because it looks so good. Hey, when you put it up here like this, it don't even. It just look like a toy. Yeah, huh? That's so fucking crazy. It just looked like a toy. It take your life. He's just up there, just chilling, relaxing. Just chilling. Just chilling. No one even knows what's happening with that. Don't play. Don't play. That's just one of his many toys. Just one. All right, come on, let's do it, man. Look, we got the mini candle right there. The mini what? Candle. Oh, is it burning? Mm -hmm. It is burning. That one. Man. That one, too. Yeah. You ready? So, we're going to do question number one. Don't do questions. No questions? Don't say questions. Oh, all right. Just, just like, just flow with it. So, man, all I All right, look. You got to put this right here, like, safe. Put it, put it right there. I'm going to set the scene for you guys. I don't give a fuck. I just don't care. But I want to set the scene for you guys because I want you guys to come in here with us. We're in the hills of Hollywood right now. Mm -hmm. It ain't no mansion, but it's just enough to make you feel alive. To make you feel the presence of happiness. To make you feel the presence of creativity. Creativity. And star. To give you that star, just to give you that energy of stardom. And creativity. It's a it's a wonderful mix. On a Tuesday, we're going up on a Tuesday. Yeah. Oh my god. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, man. Happy Tuesday to you. I like the Tuesday. So mm -hmm. basically, uh Boris and I we've been thinking about doing this dream university. I just want to thank God for blessing me um with the intuition to move in this direction. I had this epiphany so long ago, it took me a while, seven years, right? And um, just one day, I just looked in a big plate glass mirror, and I felt like God just spoke to me, and he said, I want you to preach to the people. And I was like, what? Preach to the people? I ain't no preacher. <laughs> How am I going to preach to the people? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, being that I was, I, I was raised up you know, around the church and God and all of that, right? Very, very, very much so. But, you know, it was a time when I just went my own direction and did my own thing. And then here was a time when I was just coming back 
and I was feeling it, right? I was feeling what I had left behind that I had forgotten about. Yeah. And now I'm like feeling it from a whole new perspective because I left it when I was like 13. I'm coming back to it. I'm not going to say how old I was, but just say that it was a while, long while. Yeah. And when I was 13, I didn't really understand what I was being given. But it was in me. And so when I reactivated it at my new age, my more mature age, I was like, wow, hmm. this is a gift. And I never knew that I had it. I never knew that I had been given this gift. And it's been given to all of us, right? But we don't tap into it. A lot of people don't tap into it. A lot of people don't tap into it. And so this was, you know, after, you know, when I first got that, because one thing about dreams is, or visions, you don't get it all at once. It don't all come together, like, all at one time. At least no, I don't think so. doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you get it, and it's like you get a big piece of it, and then you get these question marks all around it, like, how, when, what do I do first? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Which way should I go now? Am I in the right place? Do I, should I leave? You understand what I'm saying? Because I know I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere, but I really don't have a map. You don't know the steps to get there. I don't know the steps. And now they got Google. But when I was young, you couldn't you Google, Google shit. You didn't have Google. St- mm. Yeah, man. You could literally just find anything you are enough. You can ask Google any question. Any question you are enough. Yeah. It'll just, tell you the truth about some things. Most well, things. it'll give you some clues it'll for tell sure. You what, yeah. It'll give you like a little piece of thread that you can start pulling on yep. to find the answer. Yeah. And when I was young, you if you didn't read a book... Or you didn't know somebody that knew you, something. Yeah. That was just a wrap. You wasn't going to find out that information. Unless you did seek out to search it on your own. And that's what this this whole thing is about. It's just like Dream University is an opportunity for me to share with the world how I learned how to um, seek out a dream or, or, or pursue a vision. Mm-hmm. Which I'm still pursuing. I'm not even, I'm not even done pursuing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But it's a lot of ups and downs. And, you know, I just feel like I want to get it, you know, with YouTube and all this wonderful technology that we got that a lot of people just use for any old kind of way. I want to use it in a way that uplifts people. And that's what, over the time, when I first got the vision, when I felt like God was telling me to go and preach. And then I, I was like, I know that wasn't the traditional type of preaching was not me. So I had to figure out like, okay, it's something that I'm supposed to be saying, but what is it? And then I had to look over my life and I had to find out what is that one thing that you've always been doing, no matter what, since you can remember, mm-hmm. that's the thing you want to you want to minister and, or preach about. That's the thing you want to be speaking on. That's the thing you want to concentrate on. That's what's in you that you can share with other people mm-hmm. that they may not have because they may not have pursued it with such a passion or vigor that you have. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was a dream. Hmm. So you see how we get to this point? Yeah. It's like my my ministry is to show people how to achieve their dream because that's the one thing that I've always pursued my whole life. Yeah. And I've made sacrifices in, in pursuit of that. Huh. Serious sacrifices. So that would lead me to... Step one, which is commit to success. Commit to success. Yeah. I would say figure out a success. You you would do what now? I would say I would say I would say figure out how you want to achieve your success. Like boom, how do you want to achieve your success? Boom, 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 step, step. But uh, so you believe like every great achievement is achieved like of someone making a firm and like a solid commitment to succeed or no? I feel like yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like you have to make a firm commitment um, to what it is you want to accomplish in order to realize the trajectory that you need to go with your life. Because we only got so many minutes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we only got so much time as far as life is concerned. And then if you use that time for something other than what you want your life to really be about, Mm -hmm. then you find out in time that is too late. You understand what I'm saying? And then when you look back over your life, you're like, what did I do with the time? Like, what did I do with my money? Like, what did I accomplish? And some people, you know, I've talked to people and said, like, look, if I die right now, I'm good. I've, I've done everything I wanted to do. 
and that's you know I want to be able to say that you know what I yeah. Mean? I want to be able to say that, but... Say that you cheat everything you want to achieve already? It's, like... it's called the rock and cheer test. Okay. Or the rock and cheer theory, or what have you. So, you want to be in your rock and cheer at 80 years old with more memories than regrets. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you're not able to move around like you once was, and you're not able to pursue to the young girls, or, or, or be that hot model check you understand what i'm saying no lost dreams hopefully. no lost dreams if you wanted that you did it and now you can rock in this rocking chair with memory like hell oh, yeah that shit was fun that i love yeah that was dope like yeah you see what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so what do you what, what do you think uh like a uh, solid commitment looks like oh uh, man it's just like having your heart in it you know um it's like not giving up not turning back yeah um it's like living life with no regrets. Um, it's hard to do. It's not easy to do. A lot of times, you know, the world will push against you. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll be like, why are you doing that? Why are you quitting that job? And you don't even have nothing else to go to. You understand what I'm saying? Or, you know, um, why are you moving out of town? What do you, you don't even know nobody out there. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. Your things that you're going to do when you're committed to your dreams, a lot of people ain't going to understand. But that commitment should ho hopefully help you see past what they're saying and stick to the dream and pursue it. And just, yeah, keep going. And keep going and not let them deter you because they're all roadblocks. They're all obstacles. But That shit getting in your way. It definitely getting in the way. But you got to have the commitment to know that or to even... Come to that reality. To like, yeah. Because yeah. if you don't have that commitment, then somebody's going to talk you out of your dream. Literally. And in essence, they talking you out of that, oh, man, that just, yeah, you're gonna be missing that out. glorious life that God had planned for you. Yep. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because even in your best dreams, you can't dream as magnanimous as God. Hmm. Which means the, the, the bigness that he has in store for you it's nothing compared to your best dream. Hmm. You can never, ah, oh man, you can never underestimate God. Like, okay, what I mean by that is like, a couple things that I, I want to say right here is that God gives you what you need, but a lot of times we complain because we don't have what we want. Now, mumble on that for a second. You understand what I'm saying? Just, you know, mm -hmm. salivate on that for a second. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm just stick with that one on that one and we, we'll come back to the other one later. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it's just like, sometimes we just don't have that faith. Like we just don't believe that this thing that we want to pursue can actually come to life. But, you know, you know, faith is a bold thing. People talk about being hard. You know, you you told a pistol, you you know, you're gonna shoot a motherfucker you hard. But that don't make you hard. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, maybe in some sense, because listen, it takes way more nuts to just step out there on faith. Yeah. Than a dude to just pop a dude in the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, like to just Yeah, we don't we don't really you know, if I will one day realize that, you know, when you carry a weapon, a gun, that is, you know, some people may look at this one way, some people may look at this another way, but you really carrying that weapon out of fear. I mean, yeah, you are. Well, I mean, if you didn't think nothing was going to happen to you, would you pick up a weapon? No. <laughs> Not really. I mean, if you just went outside, you just, and you just knew everything was going to be, you know, spectacular. And you, you understand what I'm saying? Then you're good. Yeah, like if you was living in a cartoon, like or what they call fairy tale, what would you look like? You would look like a nut with a weapon in. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Everything is great. People riding around on unicorns and rainbows and stars and fairies and stardust. And you walking around with a goddamn pistol. Yeah. And you'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. You know what I mean? But you know everything's not good. Hmm. And so, in your position in that, you start thinking to yourself, shit, everything ain't good. I might walk out of here and get popped or something might happen to me. Let me get this motherfucker. 
I'm gonna get this pistol so I can prevent that from happening. But then you're gonna pop somebody else. Boom, boom. I'm just saying, it's got to be some level of fear there. Yeah, there is. I mean, so, you know, a lot of people would, so. would look and say, oh, uh, what, what the, I mean, it's just being honest with yourself. Yeah, I think I think it is fear. Yeah, it, is, it is a level of fear. But then, you know, the thing about fear is like, false evidence appearing real. And my whole purpose of even bringing up fear is just to say that um, a lot of us live in fear and we don't even realize it. Yeah. We just think it's normal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see that? You scared. <laughs> <laughs> you scared. I was like, oh you shit. You scared. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I'm fucking. They're coming to get me. It's that shit sounded, it's, that shit sounded like, like fast walking. Like it walking, just like, crept up on you like it, was, like it just got yeah, you. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? You want to put it back up or you want to leave it down? Oh, just leave it fucking up. Oh, fuck it, all right. So shit, on. man. So, uh, um, and so what happens if I commit to something and, and fucking nothing happens? Well, you know what? You know, so there's always going to be something. This is the thing. It's like you take a step towards what what you've been, um, how can I say it, led to achieve. And that's another thing. You kind of make sure that what you're going after is really what is designed for you. Like, does it, do your attributes match what you're going after? Like, say, for instance, if you're going to be an astronaut... And you like smoking weed and getting drunk. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You're good yeah. at that. Yeah. You might not want to. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to go pursue being an astronaut, though. I'm not saying you can't do it. <laughs> but Something that requires you if not If your to... intuitions and your natural talents <laughs> kind of contradict what you're trying to do, you might want to rethink it. You know it's what I mean? going to be a tough one. Yeah, yeah. but it's going to be a tough one. But, like, you know, That's if, true. You, if, you, if, you, if you can sing... And you want to be a singer, or if you know that's a perfect way of explaining it. Actually, what, what you mean? Like pursue something that, like pursue like it has to be something that like that you 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 really have like a natural gift for, or something that you actually really can see yourself doing, not like. Well, you know, I you know think I mean? one of the things that we as a society don't pay attention to is kids. You know, and if you really, because kids these like little bundles of joy that just came to earth like in a capsule. You know what I mean? They just landed on Earth, but they came from cool. somewhere. Yeah. Where they come from? My personal philosophy is that they came from God. You know what I mean? And, you know, it may sound stupid that I said it like that, but I don't think people actually realize that. Like, the kid came from somewhere. It didn't just appear. It, yeah. it traveled here from somewhere. So where did it travel to? Well, guess what? The younger you are, the more you have those answers. Huh. You see what I'm saying? Because I just left. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you what it's like on the other side. I was just, I just came from I just there. came from there. Interesting. So we need to watch these what kids. The that's weird. You understand what I'm saying? Damn, that's crazy. To see what really life is supposed to be like. Kids are daring. They laughing. Yeah. They happy. Having fun. They only cranky when they don't get what they want. Yeah. But you really little spoiled brats. Yeah. And they don't come out like you don't have to train them to be spoiled. I and mean, that's naturally like that. If you give them what they're supposed to have, they act this way. This is the natural way of life. And so when we, they, they haven't been exposed to gun violence, prejudice, um, you, you know, know rape, they like, haven't been exposed to none of that. Yeah, they're just pure. No kid comes out the, out, the, out the womb like Yosemite Sam, like stick him up. Bitch. They should have. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You should have never opened your legs. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, see, you know, I'm through the vortex of life and I'm here to fuck your ass up. Yeah, no. no, they come out the womb because they, and with love and affection. And pure, just and pure. pure. Yeah. Innocence. And pure innocence. And so if you watch them, you will see what life is about, what it was really is about. And on top of that, you will see what they came here to do. Because you will see what they naturally gravitate towards. You yeah, see what I'm saying? You and whatever they to, naturally gravitate towards for your children, that's what you should be That's what them. you should be you should pushing be fucking, them towards yeah, or dude. energizing. We don't listen to them. We tell them. Yeah, usually that's how it is. You understand what I'm saying? And they try to tell you, look, I just... Go play soccer. I don't man, know, man, I don't I, but look, play. they try to tell you, look, I just left a wonderful place. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Pure innocence. And this is what it's about, but I, I, you can't hear them because you're still trapped. You're too trapped in this world. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you kind of have to open... I think we need to really start opening our minds up to the minds of children 
we underestimate what they bring to the table. You know, Damn. in this world called life and understanding it. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. yeah. They have a lot of clues. A lot of clues. That, uh, I believe the children are the future. They didn't say that for nothing. Children literally are the future. Yeah, so they can kind of. They're your it. future. Well, if it wasn't that way. They're going to be taking way, care of you. They're going to no be taking doubt. care of me. Look, if it wasn't that way, why are the kids of today smarter than the kids of 20 and 30 years ago? I mean, why do they gravitate towards technology the way that they do? Oh, I mean, I don't know. I've seen little, 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 mini, little baby kids on full, full function on iPads, full bro. Full function. Full function, like. So, you know, my thing is, as men, you know, we update chips all the time for our computers, right? Mm -hmm. You don't think God update his chips? <laughs> you don't think he update the technology on his, uh, his components or his creativity? Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, if we think that way, he has to think that way. True. Where we get it from? So you think that's what evolution is? Just like, up, like an update, like updating the yeah, humans? 2.0. Updating like one. the people update, yeah. like the human it's update. Of, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like an update. It's kind of like that. Dang, yeah. fucking, you think outside the box, man. It's kind of like that. Like, right, I think a uh, uh, fucking. What do they do Homo when they say when they when they when they when they um. They tell you to like reinstall another app or something. They like you gotta. You gotta update your you fucking update thing. Your, yeah. Bring it back. Bring it up to speed. And you're like, well, where the hell did this information come from? I don't know, but we, you know, <laughs> you, you take advantage of it. Get rid of that outdated it. shit. Take it. So if they want you to stay up to date, why shouldn't we stay up to date by paying attention more to, to, to the kids? I, I, you know, I don't know if we. What was the question anyway? I forgot all. About it was uh uh. It was it was totally unrelated, to, but I like this conversation. It's you like the sick. conversation? Yeah, man. Right. It was um the shit um. Oh fuck! It says uh, after after I commit and I struggle to achieve my dream, what's it gonna feel like if I can't can't achieve it? Is it? Are you asking me what's it gonna feel like if you can't achieve it, or what is it gonna feel like as you start to achieve it? If you're struggling and you feel like you can't oh, achieve it, if you're struggling, you're struggling and you, and you feel, feel like, like you can't, can't achieve it, you're feeling down. You're like fuck, dude. I, can't I think do a this. lot of times when we struggle to achieve our dreams, we really be fighting ourselves. Yeah. I mean, um, because if I go back to what I really, if we go back to the, the real, the original thing that you need to do, which is commit to success, mm -hmm. a lot of times we will find that the struggle is because we haven't committed. Yeah, it shouldn't be a struggle, because if, yeah. if you love doing it, it should be... Well, let me show you this. The earlier you start off doing it, the better it'll be. True. You see what I'm saying? It's like investing. Yep. The earlier you start off investing, yep. the richer you'll be at the end of your life. Yep. Well, what happens is we start off the wrong way, going down the wrong street, right? Yeah. That don't have nothing to do with our dream, it don't happens. have nothing to do with our destiny, it don't happens. have nothing to do with what we were created by God to do. Yeah. And so that's the struggle, right? Once you really, first of all, it's the struggle is to choose to go that way instead of the way that your heart is telling you to go. Mm -hmm. Then when you go that way, you just continue to encounter more struggle. And I'm saying that to say not